Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with a, another very short quick update video and this is on the uh, wireless Bluetooth um, controller series that I've been making for my uh, NES and SNES Classic and here you can see um, I've already designed up the PCBs this is just a general purpose um, PCB that I designed for prototyping with the ATmega 328P and that's what's commonly available in the Arduino Uno and um, the Pro, what was it, Pro Mini, Pro Micro, whatever series. Anyway, um, I actually designed this to use in multiple projects. And instead of designing a custom board just for this project, I thought it would be um, a good idea to um, design this generally and just stick this in this module and wire it manually. Um, and this module is absolutely tiny. You can see the, the chip uh, in the middle is actually quite small. It's about the size of my, uh, my fingernail and the entire board is not that much bigger you can see and every single pin is broken out as well as the ICSP header um, so anyway yeah um, I'll be manually wiring this when it comes in it's already um, produced and it's on its way here and expected to arrive um, Monday today's Saturday uh, so I'm super excited for that I finished up the firmware too gotten everything uh, working as well as I can and um, I even ordered a HCO5 module quite a while ago, and this is a uh, raw module here. And um, you can see that um, I've already pre-wired it, pre-programmed it, put some nice uh, heat shrink on it, so it's all ready to go. And that'll be um, for, it doesn't matter whether it's a transmitter or receiver module, but yeah, that's for, probably stick this one in the controller. Anyway, next up is I'd mentioned that there's some latency and that might be cause for concern and of course any system has latency but this one in particular uh, because I'm processing everything using a microprocessor so here so here you can see I actually um, using my um, DS212 uh, pocket oscilloscope I actually probed um, the LED output so I flash the LED whenever a button is pressed on the controller and then I turn around and flash it whenever it's received on the receiver so all I had to do is uh, take my oscilloscope and probe each one of those LED pins and here you can see the top one is the transmitter and the bottom one's the receiver. Here you can clearly see that the latency delta T in the lower uh, right hand corner there is uh, tw about 28, 29 uh, milliseconds. And to put that in perspective, uh, we can see here I did some calculations. And here you can see um, the top number, uh, 0.016, is how many seconds it takes for a frame of NTSC video. Um, since we're dealing with video games, most of them render at 60 frames per second. Um, so that is, it's um, 0.016 seconds, basically, for a single frame. The latency that I measured was about 28, it was 28.8, so about 29. Uh, so you can see here that's 0 0.028 or 0 0.029 seconds. Um, and then when we actually divide them through, we can see how many frames of latency my controller would have in its current state. And you can see that it is 1.75 frames. So that's not horrible. Um, most people won't even realize that. Uh, certain games where you have to be absolutely frame perfect, this will screw with you. Um, so I can get the latency down a little more. I have optimized in terms of um, uh, basically removing Arduino library functions like digital write and digital read and replacing them with raw uh, port access instructions. So I've already uh, reduced some some sources of the latency. Um, most of this is actually going to be due to the internal workings of the Bluetooth module itself. So I have very little control over that portion, um, but I can further optimize some portions of my own software. Um, and that'll easily be, I can always update that in the future. And so, yeah, um, so we're all ready, set, go. Um, hopefully Monday when the boards arrive, I can start assembly. And I'm going to probably finish up the controller first, and then I will work on the receiver uh, later. And so I'm planning on the receiver to be very small, so it'll be, um, I'm going to have to 3D print a little case and figure out how I'm going to mount it onto the, uh, the actual um, the physical mechanical connector that plugs into the uh, classic consoles but anyway yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i've rambled on for quite a while and i'll definitely keep you guys updated see you later bye